So whether this is about the Zamfara issue or the Bauchi issue, we really have no idea as it is. But why do you think the Magun would take this position without being specific when he talked about anti-democratic forces attempting to overturn, overturn democracy? Um, I agree with you. Um, I agree with what the man said. Uh, except those who really don't see what is going on may disagree with him. You see, the politics now, this 2023 politics, is the kind of politics where politicians don't have a particular party, including Bolatinibu himself. They are in APC, APC they are in PDP. They are also causing problems in other parties, not to be stable. They are creating one issue or the other. Governors who are not maybe in APC will run to them to see for protection because it's going towards the election, it's going to the election. So it's highly transactional. You know, the, we, we, we see the former governor of a river state doing everything to pursue the objective of APC against his party he said he had not resigned from in PDP and using that platform to weaken his party we see the independent electoral commission uh, independent national electoral commission the people that were sent for appointment as rank recently over 80 percent of them are politicians so what is going to be the future election in this country how is it going to be now we also see like uh horrible justice musa who just retired from supreme court is very this speech said it all that today what is going on in Julia in terms of recruitment is just those who want their children to be judges, whether they are qualified or not. And that the judiciary is leaving. It's not the kind of judiciary he entered. He demand lamented the state of the judiciary. <clears throat> Last week, NBA President, NBA Chairman Potako Branch. During the opening of the Jan Liguye uh, in River State, the um, Liguye in River State, in his speech, he lamented about the way judges are recruited, that there are so many magistrates that have served for 12, 16 years, they are still magistrates. And there are magistrates that are appointed four years ago and have made judges. Because the other people don't have godfathers, godmothers. And you can imagine the kind of um, democracy. If you we don't have strong judiciary, how can democracy be protected? So we are actually navigating towards, I may say, uh, a, a, a fascist state. 